Hello folks, welcome to Teach Kolaji. Today we are going to start off with learning web scrapping. So in order to learn web scrapping, we are going to start off with a small project in which we are going to scrap live scores from Crick Info. So let's see how to do web scrapping using Python. So in order to start off with, we are going to go to our command prompt and we are going to install all the necessary packages. One of the key packages for web scrapping is beautiful soup. So we are going to install it. Pip install bs4. So after it has been installed, we are going to go to our ID. And what I have done over here is I have firstly imported all the necessary packages which would be used in web scrapping so firstly i have imported bs4 with the name of beautiful soup which is the package which is used for web scrapping of xml files and html files normally what the websites contain and secondly i have imported urllib.request so let's see what web scrapping is. So web scrapping is a technique which is used for data collection or data munging. So if you want to scrap data from any website, you can use this technique. You can use it for e-commerce stores or different live scores, or you can scrap any of the websites which contain data. So here you can see a static XML file in which we have XML tags. And through this, we are going to scrap this web. So here I am on the editor and here we are going to initialize the site parameter. So here is the site parameter. So, and the site parameter contains the URL which we are using to get all the live scores. So if you are using any other website like Amazon, so it would be the URL of that web page. So moving forward, we are going to open the site using using this op url open and we are going to pass this parameter site after that you are going to read the data using op dot read so op is the parameter which we initialized with url open and pass the parameter site after that we are going to close our site using op.close so after that what happens is that we are going to scrap the data which is available on that site for that i am initializing a variable sp underscore page and using the aliases soup i am going to scrap the data and what it requires is the two parameters in which i am going to pass the parameter which i used for reading the file which is rd and I'm going to pass the parameter which contains the format of the site. So we have a web which contains XML text. So I'm passing XML over here. So let's see how the web is being scrapped in this parameter sp underscore page. So I'm going to write a print statement over here. sp underscore page. And I'm going to run the code. Here you can see that whole of the web has been scrapped over here. You can find all the title tags, all the description tag, and all the update tags. So how we are going to work on with it, that we are going to target all the description tags of all the items available over here so that we can know the live scores of all the cricket teams be it a first class game or an international let's see how we are going to move forward to the next lines of the code we are going to target all the relevant tags available in our xml file so i have over here match list variable in which i have to find all the description tags there are multiple other functions which we used with beautiful soup package you can use select over here and many other as per your requirements so before going towards the end result i'm going to show by printing how well beautiful soup has targeted all our description tags so let's see and i'm going to change it to match list 
let's run the code and you have seen over here that it has passed us a list over here which contains all the description tags which shows that the matches of these teams have been scheduled throughout the day so let's dive more into our scrap data so we are going to loop through the match list which which contains all the description tags and we are going to extract all the text available in the description and this print statement is for separating uh, all the matches description from each other so let's move on to the end result i'm going to run the code So it shows that the latest scores from Crick Info and these matches have been scheduled for the day. If these matches were live, you would have seen the scores beside their names. So here it ends the web scrapping of Crick Info within 12 lines and you can see how easy it was for us. However, if the site is being complicated, you have to work on with more tags in order to achieve your desired results. So here I have all the code available for you. It's all open source. You can follow me on GitHub. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.